What is up, kids? Uh, oh, Dorky Dad here, obviously. You're, you're watching my channel, you know. Anyway, um, we are on our way to Orlando again. Uh, there's like a monsoon or something. No, it's, uh, we're getting the outer bands of the first tropical depression of hurricane season, I guess. Um, so it's going to be interesting. We'll see how it, uh, how it turns out. Um, we have one last kid-free day before my mother goes back home. Uh, she's with our kids, so we're going to take advantage of that as much as possible for today. Um, come along. Okay, so it's not sprinkling or raining too bad right now, but if it does, I'm going to switch to the GoPro. The onboard audio is probably not going to be the best, but it's better than nothing, right? So if you watch my other video at Disney Springs, you know that when we came to Enzo's Hideaway, they were shutting down for the night, we were too late. Um, I've never actually been here, other than that one time, and this is the door to Enzo's. I'm trying not to get copyright strike because there's like music playing, so I'm going to talk while I'm walking over here, but this is the coolest thing ever. Like this is the door. It looks like, it literally, it looks like an old speakeasy door. It's got the, the visible slot, or, or the, the peephole, whatever. We were just trying to get away from the rain, and I knew that the bridge down here was down here. Um, yeah, you get what I mean. So we were coming to hide out from the rain. See, she's got the umbrella. She's behind me in the rain anyway, even though we came down here to get away from the rain while we're waiting for Maria and Enzo's upstairs to open. I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. I've never seen that door before. All right, we just got done at Maria and Enzo's Buongiorno brunch. We found out that they do allow bottomless mimosas to go. Aw. We stepped out from under the bridge. And in fact, if I was ever eating at Maria and Enzo's for something that wasn't the brunch, I would request outdoor seating, unless this is specific for the hideaway. This is really cool. These seats are underneath the bridge here. Again, that could just be me. Uh, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna probably have to put this camera up here in a minute and switch to the GoPro. So we'll see the drop in quality. I've said that like three times in this video. If I have to switch to the GoPro, we will see how the audio quality changes and the video quality. But we're gonna walk around Disney Springs for a bit and then we're gonna catch a bus to the boardwalk and walk from the boardwalk to Hollywood Studios and then do whatever floats our boat. All right, I've officially switched to the GoPro. So this is the first video and audio with the GoPro Hero 6. I don't have any external microphone set up. I don't have a handle. I don't have any stabilization other than the GoPro's regular stabilization. So if this is bad, I'm sorry. If it's good, I made a good investment. Thanks, Super Enthused. Uh, yeah, but we're still in Disney Springs and we're walking. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. We might, I might not even record anything else until we get to Hollywood Studios. But we're gonna walk and you'll see. So we've gotten lost twice now at Disney Springs. We're trying to get our way back to the car and then make it to the buses. But we've walked onto these uh, bridges that go nowhere, but loop back around to where we started. It's been weird. We haven't explored Disney Springs enough. We're more uh, park people. So maybe we'll do an entire video one time of Disney Springs. But we want to go to Hollywood Studios, so today is not that day. So we are back in the Coca-Cola store, unless you can't tell, because I've regretted since the meetup not buying these $10 sunglasses. And my wife wants to meet the bear again. He's awesome. So I guess we're going to meet the bear again, and then we're going to buy sunglasses. Yeah. So the elevator still smells like bloggers. Yeah, and there's no one in here. It just stinks. We left our mark. Good job, you two. So we're going to meet the bear again, I guess. twice that we've met the polar bear and the kids still haven't so I feel terrible I'm sorry kids apparently in the last month I've made like 43 of these bags from coke zero alone you're welcome world you know what YouTube don't say it ever did anything for you 
I am buying one of each of the Coca-Cola store surprise packs. Apparently that's a thing that they do. They have small, medium, and large. Also, if the next giveaway features something Coca-Cola related, I promise it's completely unrelated. <laughs> this one's for the Buster. I really wish I had Universal Studios tickets because I want to ride the Fast and Furious ride. Bye. Just in case you were wondering. Ow, why did you stab me? What are you doing? Okay, so oh, it's raining. I gotta put the okay, camera up. So no, wait, wait. Even if you guys don't want was ever the surprise, surprise bag, our kids will. So it's yeah, no, I was just saying, uh, if I don't want it and the kids don't want it, it might end up in the giveaway. That's mean, though. Love you guys. If our kids don't want it, they're not gonna want it. <laughs> So, we are going from Disney Springs to the bus to the boardwalk. Uh, this is feeling very reminiscent of our YouTuber meetup last weekend, weekend before last, a couple weekends ago, whenever. I don't know how the wind is doing because it's really windy. I don't know if the GoPro is picking that up. I don't know if I'm way too close to my face. I can't see anything and I'm sorry, but it is still kind of rainy out here. Uh, but yeah, for those that are unaware, the boardwalk is within walking distance to Hollywood Studios. So if you are going from Disney Springs, Disney Springs does not have any buses to parks. And they do that. Hold on, I don't know how the audio is and I really want to get this out. Um, Disney Springs doesn't have any buses to the parks. And they do that so that you don't come park for free in the parking garages and then take a bus to the parks. However, if you pay a metric ton of money per year like we do, or you're just a uh, person that likes to work the system. Uh, you can take a bus from Disney Springs to the boardwalk, and the boardwalk is within walking distance to both Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So we're gonna do that. Come along. You don't really have a choice unless you're just gonna cut out right now. Please don't, please watch all the way through. Yeah, thanks. Okay, love you, bye. All right, so uh, I can't see anything because it's like overcast, I'm still wearing sunglasses, it's weird. Don't judge me. Uh, but I did. I did. I stopped and got a McKenzie's. We're on our way to Hollywood Studios. I think this is the right way. Are we sure? We might get lost, but we're going to find Hollywood Studios through the walking path. 20 minutes later. Okay, I am officially no longer allowed to give theme park brews uh, flack about getting lost. Epcot. Because we're at Epcot. I thought we were going to Hollywood Studios. Why do we end up at Epcot? But we're at Epcot. So we're gonna turn around now and go back to Hollywood Studios. I'm not Studios. walking back that way. Here we are. To? Yeah, come on. It's so far away. No, it's not. One eternity later. I will start it. So we have made it to Hollywood Studios. We have already acquired our Donald Duck pass holder magnets, which I, like an idiot, already put in the backpack and I don't feel like digging out to show on camera. Check my social media. I post it up immediately on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, yeah, and it's probably, I'm probably gonna give away one, maybe two of those. So stay tuned for that. But we are walking through Hollywood Studios, through the shops to avoid the rain. And I lost my wife. Oh we're goodness! Me and we're done. I don't want anything else. I just want this to have it. I want. What can you even fit in there? I don't want to ask for anything else. I really want it. The best thing in the world. I'll use it every day. This is what I have to deal with, I'll and this is why day. she's spoiled. So, in the time it took us, hold on. In the time it took us to buy that stitch bag, the Beauty and the Beast show has let out, and we are fighting a crowd of people to get to the Tower of Terror rock and roller coaster area. So that's the thing that's happening. Making sure you're with me so I'm not spending right, another here. large amount of money on a bag you don't need. Bye. It's kind of my life. I only had one stitch crossbody, okay? You have to have at least two or more. To, oh, is that how that works? To survive in life, yes. Oh, I'm sorry that I, I was depriving you of your whatever. All right, Hollywood Studios, we need to talk. Toy Story Land opens. Hold on, focus. There we go. Toy Story Land opens in like a month and a day from today. Why was the only prominent villain's store turned into Toy Story stuff when you're about to have an entire land dedicated to it? I don't even know. I want this. Back. Oh. I want that. I 
Yeah, okay, well, we'll buy it after June 30th. Come on, Disney. Do better. I say it every time we come here, but I really can't stress enough, no trip to Hollywood Studios is complete without visiting the Baseline Tap House. Or as the day of Steve likes to call it, the Vaseline Tap House. Because he's a guy that likes Vaseline. I don't know. A few moments later. So as I walk up to say that, Baseline Tap House is closed. They have a cast member out there telling people they're closed, but there's tons of people drinking fresh beer outside. I don't get it. I'm trying not to be bitter, but I'm bitter. I'm sorry. You deserve better of me, YouTube. I'm just a little upset. Okay, so as we're walking away from ba Baseline Tap House, I almost said Vaseline. Um, I'm not saying that Disney watches my vlogs and steals my ideas, but last time I was here about a week ago, I definitely said something about setting up PhotoPass here, and there's PhotoPass set up here. But that's not the coolest part. The coolest part, and we're about to go get in line, that is K2SO right over there. We're gonna go do that. Come on. Disappointment number two. The reason Baseline Tap House is closed is because of Star Wars Galactic Nights, which is awesome, but we're not here for that. Uh, but that also means that I can't go see K2SO like I wanted to. He's over here somewhere. Right, right there, right there. I'm, I'm stopped in the walkway, which is against my own personal rules. But K2SO is there, but you can only get a photo with him, like, of an official photo with him with the Star Wars Galactic Knights, which is cool. A super cool cast member told us next year probably will be better. Yeah, you wait. Well, I mean, yeah, yes, he was cool. However, yeah. that's just like context clues. Yes, next year's gonna be better because Star Wars land's gonna be open. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. I feel, I feel awful. I would love to meet. Uh, what's it called? Pizza Rizzo? And have beer and sit for a moment? No, I don't want to go in Pizza Rizzo and have a beer. And sit for a moment? No, I don't want to. Why? Because I don't want to. Alright, well I'm going to. Bye. Okay, Pizza Rizzo is also closed. It is 3 p.m. and almost every place we've gone in Hollywood Studios has been closed. Now, Galactic Nights are cool. I'm a Star Wars fan. I can't, I can't hate. I'm very Tashkian. But if this is like a once in a lifetime trip for you and you come to Hollywood Studios and everything is closed, you're gonna be disappointed. So I'm going back to my earlier statement of Disney, get good, do better. So with Baseline and everything else closed for Star Wars Galactic Nights, we ended up at the Tune In Lounge, which is attached to 50's Prime Time. But I got water and I got a couple cups of water, so I have to carry that. So sorry I even started this. So the time has officially come. My wife is putting me on the run ride that I absolutely hate more than any other here in the entire park. Or all of Disney, not just this park. She's back there doing whatever, just wandering into people, not even paying attention to me. But we're going on Tower of Terror. I might scream like a girl, but I'm gonna try and get GoPro footage from my hat. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. Let's just put it, we'll see what happens. If you hear screaming like a small female child, it's, it's not me. said something about it but I haven't and if you're one of those that watches me and not everybody else first of all thank you you're awesome second of all it's here in the Starbucks or the trolley cafe is what they call it the trolley car cafe uh, but it's Starbucks but yeah the carrot cake cookie can be had here right over there in that glass thing my big heads in the way all right so 
Signing off from Hollywood Studios, we're about to head back to Disney Springs and then head to the outlet. We'll do another video for that. Uh, but we've had a pretty action-packed, fun-filled day without kids, which has been exciting, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching. As always, stay dorky.